Are you tired of carrying around important papers and wishing you could instantly digitize them? Today, I am going to show you how to use your smartphone and a free, easy to use app to instantly scan and file your important documents. All right, this is a screenshot of my iPhone I'm recording from, and I'm gonna show you just really quickly how I capture a document instantly from my phone that I don't want to lose, and how I save it into a share drive. All right, I have this free Adobe Scan app on my iPhone. I'm going to click on it, and click on the camera button. It is now looking for a document that it just captured automatically. That's it. It's gonna keep capturing now until I stop, okay? So look at it went from one page to two pages. This is the document that we wanna save. I'm going to click on the upper right hand corner to save PDF. Before I do so, I wanna rename it. So I'm going to click on the edit and erase the name, document, demo. All right, that's good for now. And I'm going to hit the screen one more time. So now it has a name that I want. In most situations, I would also include the date. So something that we talk about, or I talk about a lot in my courses and my online videos is how important tracking like invoices or contracts, anything like you have where you might have multiple revisions or it's easier to find by date, whether you categorize by vendor name, type of document, or date. For now, I'm just showing you the capture process. So there's a title, and next we're going to up click in the upper right-hand corner to save PDF. Now it's saving the PDF. It also recognized the text, which is super awesome. So up on the top, there's a couple different things that you have going on. You have an Adobe Scan, you have Recent, and you also have your file list. If you wanna see two different views, you can toggle back and forth between those two views. I'm gonna scroll up and click on my document, and you can see underneath it, it says Open Acrobat, but to the left underneath it says Share. So I'm gonna click on the Share button. Now it's going to give me three options. I can email it to someone, I can share a file or a link to the file. I'm going to go ahead and share the file. Now it's gonna open up what I have as options or linked to from my phone. So you can see on the bottom left, I have Dropbox connected. I also have Drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my Google Drive. And now I can go into my Google Drive folders and save it into the correct place. So you can see it has my email, my Drive. And now I can go in to say, one of my folders that I want to record it in. So I'm gonna have it here, and it's going to be recorded. Let's create a new folder for it. So demo documents. And this is going to create an actual folder now in my Google Drive. Now it's going to, it says there's no files in this new folder, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save here. So you can see now, it has the important demo uh, document demo PDF as a name. It has the account for my Google Drive, my email address. Underneath that, it has the folder I created, and now all I have to do is click Upload. If I click Upload, it has now saved this document, this PDF that I just scanned from my phone into the folder that I selected on Google Drive. How cool is that? Now, if you want to adjust some of the settings in Google Drive, you can click on the gear button in the top left, you can go in and check out your preferences. You might have to actually go into the website to create an account, which I think I did because I found it easier and then was able to just log in through the app. But once it's set up, it's so simple. Again, you just open up the app. It automatically starts looking for the document. It scans it to size. So if you have a small piece of paper like a receipt or a business card, and you don't wanna scan in an eight by 10, it automatically adjusts. Super cool, super efficient, and will save you a ton of time. 
and hopefully avoid having you lose any type of important documents that you get while you're maybe away from home and not able to file it right away by immediately scanning. I hope you found this video helpful and time-saving. If you would like to see other videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure to like this video above. I'm also frequently posting to my Instagram and Facebook pages, and you can find me on both those platforms at Paddleboarding CPA. If you have a comment or question, please leave it below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. This is Julie Merrill, the Paddleboarding CPA. Ciao for now.